Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Week 8, week 7, somewhere around there we're on anyway. Um, but yeah, before we get started as always, guys, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. You use the word sport, you, you know, you go all the time, use the word sport and you get 10% off your purchase price. It's got to do that, especially if your club has had a great day out. But anyway guys, you're here for one reason, one reason only, and that's to get this Premier League prediction of the video straight on the way. So guys, you know what to do, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Brighton over Albion versus Burnley. Now, I will make it pop up at the end of this video, but I did do a sort of a recap video on it. If you have seen it, it sort of don't work into a recap video. The further you go in, it's the main objective of that video is in the title. So go and make sure you check this out at the end of this video if you haven't already. Going forward to the game, Brighton did lose to Tottenham. And as I said, it's more in that video why the result turned out the way it did. Burnley, I can't quite remember how I got on, but I do know. I think they're bottom of the Premier League and really are struggling this uh, season so far. I know there's a long way to go. As far as the game goes, being at home, must win game for both clubs. I think it's going to probably end up as a draw. And I'll go for a one on score line for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Newcastle. Southampton have had a brilliant few weeks after starting, you know, a bit... Uh, sort of dodgy. Newcastle on the other hand, you know, ain't had that bad a start of season either and the international breaks come up, you know, literally after this weekend. So, you know, there will be more videos coming up on my channel, don't worry about that. This game of Newcastle versus Southampton or Southampton versus Newcastle, this could be a bit of a tough one to call. I'm gonna go for a Southampton win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Everton versus Manchester United. Everton, Man United. Always turned up a great treat in the Premier League. Always a fixture I look forward to. And I think it will be a fixture I will be watching as well. But, going forward to the game. Now, Man United have had a disappointing few weeks they're playing in the Champions League tonight as I'm recording this but going back to the league losing to Arsenal I think they lost the Wednesday after and I did watch a bit you know of the after match with the Main Night Arsenal game and they really don't know what sort of angle Main Night Trump had this minute. it Oligar Solskjaer has you know really is playing about with his midfield so on that circle start I'm going to go for an Everton win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Everton win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Leeds United. Now, I do know Leeds lost to Leicester. can't quite remember how Crystal Palace got on. But, two clubs that have a bit of that fierce rivalry between them, obviously... Leagues have came and taken the Premier League by, you know, storm. Crystal Palace are, you know, same as any other Premier League team, really. Uh, this game could really go one way or the other. What way do I call it? Selhurst Park, Palace at home. Leagues did give Leicester a good go. I'm going to go for a Leagues win, I think. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 Leagues win. I'm expecting a lot of goals in that game. My next one is Chelsea versus Sheffield United. Now, yet again, Chelsea. I ain't really had that bad a start. Sheffield United, on the other hand, they did go for a difficult spell. This could, and it probably will, and that's why I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is West Ham versus Fulham. Fulham got their first Premier League win against West Brom. Now, well done to Fulham for doing that. Much needed for Fulham. Much needed if you're a Fulham fan as well. But going forward to this game, I think West Ham are too strong for Fulham. So I'm going for a Hammers win. And I'm going to go for a 4-1 West Ham win. Sorry, Fulham fans. My next one is West Brom and Javier versus Tottenham. Now, yeah, as I've just said, Fulham did beat West Brom. Tottenham played Brighton. And, you know, if you want to see that video, I'll make it pop up at the end of this video. But make sure you go watch it. Either way, whether you turn this video off and go watch it that way. But yeah, I'll find it really interesting and I'd also like your opinions on that certain video as well. Uh, going forward to this game, West Brom. Now, if Harry Kane keeps on doing what he's doing, uh, I didn't mention this in, the, in that video, but he's putting other players at risk by just standing there and not making any attempts whatsoever. I believe Tottenham will get another penalty in this game. I believe Tottenham will win this game by three goals to nil. My next one is Leicester versus Wolverhampton. Both teams, um, you know, Leicester, I think they got more points than what they started their Premier League season, uh, winning, uh, Premier League winning season with, I think, back in 2016. Great um, occasion for Leicester back then. Do I see him doing it again? I'm going to have to wait and see. Going forward to the game itself, I could see a quite even game. Quite a, you know, um, you know, a 50-50 game. I'm going to go for a draw for this one, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Liverpool. First time, I think, this season, both clubs go head-to-head. Both clubs have struggled to get going at this present in time. They have started to get going, but they are still struggling. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. I'm not expecting nothing much in that game, but yeah, probably still entertaining as always. The next one and the last one for this weekend is Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Now, Arsenal... Beating Man United, I can't remember how Phil got on. But both clubs are doing okay at this present in time. Being back at the Emirates Stadium, obviously still no fans at all. We are going, we are in our second lockdown. Or we're just about to, it depends what time you're watching this. I'm going to go for an Arsenal win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Arsenal win. But anyway guys, you know what to do. Give us a big crap thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.